Mm. That is really good. That is so good that we are going to end this taste test <laughs> right here. Hey guys, welcome back to Cooking with Reg Reg. I hope you're enjoying our videos so far. Uh, tonight we have a special treat. We're going to make pot roast in an Instapot. It's going to turn around. This is the in Instapot Ultra. I did not purchase another gadget. This is on loan from a coworker who has had this, um, hasn't used it yet, and wants me to use it for her, test it out, and basically give her some tips on how to use it. So this is my first time ever using um, a pressure cooker at all. Uh, so let's see how this goes. So the first thing we're gonna do is we are going to prepare the vegetables. So I'm gonna, in the order that I put the meat, or the blah, 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 in the order that we'll put the in, ingredients in the Instant Pot, it'll be the roast, and then I'm gonna put the onions, and then the carrots, and then the potatoes. And then this will get mixed in along the way. So I'm going to start with chopping my onion. That doesn't look good. I don't know if that means that that onion's bad or not. I'm not eating that. This is not okay. I'm going to start by cutting it in half, then into quarters, and give it one more chop this way. Okay, so these are ready to go in. And I'm just, I'm not going to peel these carrots, I'm just going to rub them real good. I, I read recently that uh, you don't necessarily have to peel carrots for certain recipes like um, like a stew or a roast so I am not gonna spend the time to peel carrots today I'm just gonna chop them run away into nice big chunks. I bought a two pound bag and I'm not real sure how much I'm actually gonna need. Potatoes this size is kind of like tiny size, and then some of these larger ones. So I will start by washing a few of these. just want to like cut these big ones in half. Okay, so I can't go above this PC Max line. So whatever I'm putting in here, it's got to stay below this line. So that's number one. 
We did do a water test on this before we used it just so that we uh, knew what it would sound like and how it would behave and just to kind of get a hang of how the machine functions. Okay, so that meat fit very nicely in there. Okay, one of my favorite ways to season a roast is to use a combination of brown gravy mix, ranch dressing, and Italian dressing. So normally when I'm doing a crock pot roast, I just put everything in and then sprinkle this all over the top and it all mixes in. I have a pretty large crock pot so it can spread around. Since I need to do the seasoning in layers because we're going vertical, I would like to pre-mix this. blend all the little flavors in together. So I'm gonna sprinkle this in. And I put the meat in first because the meat I think needs the most heat, so it's going to go in first. And then I'm going to put my onions. Uh -oh, I'm getting close to this line here. These little purple ones are so cute. So after I put the vegetables in and I'm paying attention not to go past the max line, I'm just going to sprinkle the rest of this in. followed by a layer of seasoning, then onion, then carrots, then the mixture of potatoes, followed by another layer of seasoning, and then two cups of beef broth. I have a three pound roast, so I'm going to set this for uh, 70 minutes. So I'm gonna make sure that I line this arrow up with this arrow. So this is open and unlock, and you saw it kind of slid into place, and then you turn it to close towards the close direction in the lock, so these two arrows line up. Now we're gonna turn this dial, it's already on meat stew, and then, oh, I press it, uh oh, and then I press that, and I said I needed to do 70 minutes. Okay. So it says that it's on. And this little preheating button should start to move along. Okay, so I had this pressed down to vent. Vent means it releases the steam. And so not enough steam was building up in here to do the preheat. 
And I knew that because the little bar wasn't moving. So then I turned this, which meant it's no longer gonna allow steam to come out. And it keeps the steam in here so that it builds pressure so that it starts to cook. So we're gonna let this cook for 70 minutes. Um, just a side note that after we did our little test, we let it sit here. We dumped the water out once the inside pot was cool enough for me to touch. And then we came back and we were so excited to start the roast, but it wouldn't turn on. And um, we did everything we could think of, the open, the close, the starts, buttons, whatever. The problem was that this cord, which is relatively short, had come unattached here. So you just have to make sure, because I had moved it, that this cord is in and then it's secure. And if you come back around, you'll see that it looks like it's almost done getting to the end of the preheat stage. So we will be back. Okay, so it was a little more than 70 minutes because it had to heat up to um, preheat and to like get the steam. So once it hit the preheat level, we thought it was done, but it took a while. So, um, but that's okay. And then it cooked just fine. I never tried to open it or anything like that. And then at the end, we had a little um, mishap where Mr. Cameraman is really, really hungry. And we had a little debate about this knob function here. This pin was still up. And I said, let's leave the, wait till the pin comes back down and then release this. And he said, no, it's okay. So I pushed this and it released not only steam, but like juice and maybe a potato came out of there too. It shredded it. I don't really know. But we, we finally, after a while, figured it out and we pressed the steam release button back to original position. And then we waited till the pin went down and then we released it again, and of course there's no steam left. My suggestions would be um, just seeing after the water test in, in this, um, whether you're steaming out of whole potato or not, there's still a lot of force that comes with this and it goes pretty high. So I would make sure that if you can, that you are not using this like under a counter like this because you don't want that steam to hit here or even like the front if you're going to have to use it on a counter like this try to rotate it enough so you have clearance for that steam to go what i liked about this and i think that um i think that trevor's in trouble because i think this would be a cool thing to add to my toolbox right here <laughs> is um, I like the idea that I just set it in and walked away. Um, I was able to go do other things like take care of the pets and do some laundry and clean up the kitchen and cook another meal. So I think this would be really, really handy to people who want to do meal prep. Um, I could see using this to 
uh, cook a whole lot of chicken or or cook a dinner like this while you prep something else. So I like that. I like the idea that it's just here. You can walk away and forget about it. Hey guys, welcome back. Okay, so we got the pot roast out of the Instapot into the lovely dish. And we're gonna do a little taste test, let you know how it came out. So my favorite part about roast is really the carrots. These big, ginormous carrots. Mm. <laughs> Oh my gosh, they're like sweet and soft and delicious. Now for the main event. Just look at this, guys. I will say that the meat seems to have a different texture or consistency than it would in the crock pot. Mmm. That is really good. That is so good that we are going to end this taste test <laughs> right here. <laughs> mm. Wow. Okay. I highly recommend switching your favorite pot roast recipe from a crock pot to an Insta pot. Um, great tool. At first, I didn't really understand how it would be helpful in, in my kitchen, in my rotation. I kind of was thinking of it as, as like another crock pot, but I see that it has potential for different things. So I get the craze and I think I could buy into that. Um, so we're all set. If you guys enjoyed this video and would like to see how the turkey taco soup is made, be sure to hit the like and subscribe button and then the notification bell so that you know when we release another video. All right, guys, we'll see you next time.